So the question is, there's a, so let's say there's a big revolution, right? The U.S., the American people finally have enough of it. They say, that's it. Y'all got to go. All 546 of you. And even at the state level, the county level, all of it. So that you're talking, what, you know, eight, ten thousand people. Y'all got to go. You're, you're, you know, you people have done nothing but just punish fuck this country into the dirt, grill first for the last, you know, 70 years. So actually, well, 110 plus, but you, all you've done is destroy everything. You destroy everything you touch. You have, you have the opposite of the minus touch. Everything you touch turns to dog shit. Well, so let's say that the American people finally have enough of that. The question is what replaces it, right? Now, this is, this is a legit question. And it's something that people have to think about before a revolution. Right. You, you can't just have a revolution and then say, OK, now what? You know, all you end up with is a bunch of warlords, you know, fighting, fighting over who's going to be king of the ashes. OK, so you need to think about this stuff way in advance. And there was a video I did where I talked about Texit because Texit is effectively the same question. Now, even though this isn't a Texit, a Texit video or a Texas specific video, it's to do with the country itself. <clears throat> and it's all about what replaces it. Now, there's a whole bunch of young people right now, and I'm going to talk to the young people on this one, who all say, well, we want to have communism. You see, the reason you think that is because you all think you're going to be a blue shirt. That's, that's why you think that. Blue shirt meaning the Star Trek analogy. It's, it's, I call it the blue shirt deception. That's what I called it a long time ago. I, I think I, started, I did a video on that, I think, like two years ago, where I talked about the blue shirt deception. And it's the, it's the idea that you think that you're going to be... If you watch shows like Star Trek... And I use it just for an example purposes, because it's the best example of this. Everybody thinks they're going to be the guys in the blue shirt or the gold shirt who make it back to the ship in time. They're, they're not going to be a red shirt, right? <laughs> um, everybody thinks like that. They think that, oh, well, if we have, if we have communism, you know, or any kind of real ism, it doesn't really make any difference what you pick. But any kind of ism like that, that you're going to be somehow in the top of the, stratus, uh, of the structure giving orders to people, and then they go to work and work because you tell them to. That is not the case. That's not what you end up with. What you end up with is a, a much more brutal type of system because people don't work because you tell them to, right? People work because, you know, why do men work? They work for a result. And if, the re and if they're not getting the result that they want, they're going to stop working, right? Like, well, we can have women do it. Whatever. Anyway, look... <laughs> Men work for one reason. They work for a result, okay? And that result is is they, they typically want to have, you know, wives and families, right? I mean, women, men work to afford women and kids. That's just reality, okay? There's only, you can only go so far with your game systems. You can only go so far with like, oh, well, but I got a really cool car. Yeah, eventually at a certain point, that's going to kind of fade on you. And you're going to be like, you know, maybe I do want to have a, a family. And, and this is what ends up happening to men. You know, it typically happens a little earlier, but now we don't, we have men deciding to be like adolescents until they're in their mid 40s now. So, you know, for whatever that's worth anyway. So what replaces all of this then? If you don't want to have ism, what replaces it? Well, I would suggest don't replace it with any particular type of economic idea or economic system. Replace it with just something where a system exists naturally. Let me give you an example of this. Do, you, do we need to have any... Does Congress need to pass a law that says that gravity has to function? No. No. Gravity functions regardless. It, 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 in fact, you could make all, kind, all the laws you want to make gravity illegal. It really doesn't matter, right? I mean, gravity, the laws of physics are not going to... They don't give a shit what Congress does. They, they don't give a fuck about that, okay? So... You could say, you call it God's laws, you can call it the laws of the universe, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, they don't give a shit about anything that, that mankind is doing, all right? So, my suggestion would be, rather than try and create an economic system, why don't you just create an idea that can't change? Such as, the first thing I would suggest is go to a hard currency. Pick a hard currency, man. But keep in mind... Anything, anytime you hear somebody say any word, and I've been over this over, over and over and over, I, I, I'm, I'm giving you just sage advice here. Anytime you hear the term something backed currency, forget it. 
forget it. Just, com just, just completely take it out of your mind because it's fake. What that means is, is, is as soon as you, they get you to agree to the idea of a backed currency, I don't care what it's backed by. I don't care if it's backed by bananas. It doesn't make any difference. As soon as it's backed by something, somebody's going to counterfeit more than there is backing it. Guaranteed. This is every single time throughout all of history. So there you go. As far as the money is concerned, that's the chief among it, by the way. That's, that's the number one thing you have to have that discussion about. The number one thing is the money. That will always be the number one discussion because what you're discussing itself is, is it's really you're discussing life itself. That's really what you're discussing because you're discussing energy. Life is energy, okay? Human beings are energetic beings. And what you're discussing is, are you going to be able to rob them of their energy? That's really what you're discussing. And not, I'm talking about through inflation, not through taxation. Taxation, let's be real, taxation to an extent is going to exist somehow, some way, right? Sorry, libertarians. Um, but it, it is going to exist in, in some form or another. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily have to be where you're taking money from, you know, taking somebody's money, but you could be asking them to, hey, you know, like, why not, why not clean up the street in front of your house? That's a form of taxation. It is. It's a form of taxation. I'm not saying that that's, that's a perfect system. I'm using that only just off the cuff. I'm just telling you that you're going to, people have, and if you want to have any kind of a system at all, or any kind of country, people are going to have to be willing to work in common areas periodically. You could say that, well, we could privatize this, privatize this. Yeah, you can. You can privatize all these things. But as I pointed out, for example, in the case of, for example purposes only, I don't want to turn into a huge fucking debate on this, but for example purposes only, let's say that you, you, you say, okay, well, yeah, we're going to have uh, private nuclear power. Great. That's fantastic. What if there's sabotage? What if somebody doesn't, what if there's industrial sabotage and a whole bunch of people get irradiated? Who pays for that? Because there's not going to be an insurance company. In, in a real market, there's no insurance companies. They go away. Insurance companies are just, just gambling. That's all it is. Those go away because there's no way to cover in claims. Well, it's through premiums. No. Do the math. There is no way that any insurance company can function in a hard currency environment. They can't. They can't. It's toxic to them right? It's like, it's like cancer in an alkaline environment. Can't survive, okay? So it, it, insurance companies, banks, etc., bankers, all this illusion of wealth bullshit that you guys have, that everybody out there is seeing, that stuff goes away. So who compensates for that? Not only that, while you're thinking about it, uh, well, that company has to pay it up. Pay what? How many zillions? Of, I mean, like, how, how, how do you compensate people for losing 20 or 30 years off their life? You can't. The other thing that you would look at, once again, for example purposes only, is what happens if that becomes not profitable and the company just says, eh, you know, screw it, you know, and just walks away when they leave fissionable material. Okay, so, so to a certain extent, you're going to, you get the idea, you're going to have people that have to work on some kind of common level, right, and to maintain it, because society takes maintenance. There is no way around that. Society itself takes maintenance. It requires people doing something to maintain their civilization, right? And you can't always have, like, well, we can have somebody else do it. Or, you know, someone, it's like, it's like someone should do something, right? I love that idea. Someone should do something. I have never met someone. A friend of mine said this. I, I, I've never met someone. Who the hell is someone? Who the fuck is that? In other words, it's anybody but you. You don't want to do it. And this is where I, I this is where we, for example, we saw with this that whole Chaz thing, right? Remember, you know, in Seattle when they got taken over by a bunch of a bunch of people calling themselves communists and they they collapsed in like a month. Yeah, that's how it works because it's like, oh well, someone should do something because yeah, you guys don't understand. A bunch of you don't understand the army of men that it takes to keep civilization afloat. And I'm not talking about the military. Fuck the military. I'm talking about this army of men that just create electricity. Something as simple as that. I'll see you in part two.